how they do hello again and welcome back to our channel today i'm going to be making some prawn soup so here i have some shell prawns and here i have some celery onion spring onions fresh thyme i have a hot pepper there some okra here or lady fingers as they're also called some fresh garlic pimento seeds here i have some of my homemade jerk seasoning some parsley here here we have some pumpkin and that's frozen pumpkin i have some carrots here some sweet corn a sweet potato some chow chow here and here i'm going to be making some dumplings so i have some flour cornmeal semolina and a pinch of salt in this container here i also have vegan bouillon powder and of course our grace cup noodle soup mix so let's jump into it and start cooking so now i'm going to start preparing my soup here i have a pot on the stove with some hot oil and water to the pot i'm going to be adding my carrots pumpkin Chow -chow, a cup of cloves of garlic and some fresh thyme here I'm also going to add a pinch of salt in here I'm now going to just leave these here to boil and maybe about five to ten minutes before I had any other ingredients here. So I'll cover my pot and leave that to boil. So while my veggies are boiling, I'm going to knead my dumpling. So I'm going to knead the dough to make my dumplings. So I'm just combining the flour with the cornmeal, semolina and the salt with my fingers here. I'm now going to add my water and I'm going to knead that in to form a dough. So I'm going to make my dough a bit firm because I like to have firmer dumplings rather than soft ones. Everybody likes their dumpling texture to be different. I don't like a very soft textured dumpling. So I like my dough to be a little bit firmer when I knead it. So here you can see what my dough looks like. So that's my dough there. I'm going to just knead this in now and that's what's left in my pan. So I'm just going to continue kneading this without adding no more water until my pan is completely clean and smooth and nothing is left of the flour in here. So if you like a soft extra dumpling then your dough should be softer than I'm doing my dough here but I like a firm a texture dumpling so I'm just going to continue kneading this until my pan is completely clean and my mixture is smooth but firm So I'll show you my dough again and you see how firm this is. Very, very firm dough. So I'm just going to knead this in for maybe another two to three minutes and just set it aside. So 
there we have it, a nice smooth dough. I'm going to just set this aside now until I'm ready to add it to my soup pot. So here I'm going to peel my sweet potato. Because I'll be adding sweet potato to my soup, but this is my choice. It could have been Irish potato, could have been yams, could have been anything, but I just want a simple soup this evening. So I'm using just some sweet potato, some veggies, and my dumplings. So I'm just quickly peeling the sweet potato here. So there's my potato. I'm going to just slice this. So there I have my potato. I'm going to put this in a container with some water because you have to wash your food and veggies before you cook them. So after my pot has been boiling for about five minutes thereabouts, I'm going to now add some more of my ingredients in here. So I'm going to add some of my prawns in here. I'm not adding all my prawns at this point because you know prawns cook quickly but I'm going to add a handful of my prawns in here just to flavor the broth of the soup. Also I'm adding my corn on the cob here so in goes my corn on the cob. I'm now going to make my dumplings and add them to my soup. What I tend to do is I roll my dough in a log form, just like this here. And then I'll cut these into bite-sized pieces. So I'll use my knife to just cut these off. Just cut them off into bite-sized pieces and drop them into my pot. another piece Just got those and drop them off into the pot. So that's all my dumplings in my pot. Just going to give that a little stir. I'm now going to cover my pot again and give that about three minutes more before I had anything else. So now I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients to my soup as it's now in the finishing stages. And you can see how creamy and rich that looks. So now I'm going to add my celery. I have 
half of a white onion that's going in here. I'm going to add one tablespoon of my vegan bouillon powder. And this just flavors your soup beautifully. So I'm adding one tablespoon in here. I'm going to add my teaspoon of homemade jerk seasoning in here. That might be a little bit too spicy, so let me taste it before I add any more. So I'll just add the whole thing. I'm going to add my spring onion. I'm just going to just twine that with my hand, drop it in there. In goes the sachet of Grace Cock flavor noodle soup mix. Going to stir this in. You have to stir this in when you add it to your soup because it has a tendency to become a bit sticky, lumpy. So I'm going to just gently stir that in. I'm going in with my pimento seeds because it flavors soup beautifully. I'm going to add a whole hot pepper here because I'm now going to just leave my soup to simmer. I'm now going to add my sweet potato because potato is very soft and I don't want my sweet potato to be mushy. So I'm adding my sweet potato here. And I'm also adding the rest of my prawns as well. I'll just stir those in. I'm going to add just a squirt of black pepper in here, not too much. And now I have most of my ingredients in here. The only thing I haven't added to my soup yet is the okra, but I'll put the okra in here at the last minute when I'm about to completely finish with cooking my soup. So I won't add my okra now. I'll give my okra about two to three minutes in the pot before I'm ready to serve my soup. So I'm going to leave this here now to simmer so that my potatoes get cooked and the rest of the flavors just immerse themselves into this beautiful broth here. So I'm going to now cover my pot, leave my stove on medium heat and just allow it to continue cooking. So about 10 minutes after adding my sweet potato, I'm going to add my okra to my soup and at this point here I have my stove on very very low heat so I'm going to remove my hot pepper from here first so that's my hot pepper I'm going to remove it from here I'm going to have my okra but what I've done with my okra is I've sliced most of them and I've left just two old ones so I'm going to add the okra to the soup here I'm going to give that a little stir So everything here is now nicely cooked. I'm going to put my stove on the lowest heat and I'm going to just cover this again. I'm going to leave it to simmer for about two to three minutes and then I will be serving my soup. So I'm covering my pot again. So there we have it. My prawn soup is complete. Thanks for watching. 
please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel and also remember to turn your notification bells on so you do get notified when we do upload more videos like these thanks again for watching enough love bye